How do these WVU students stay on the cutting edge of forensic and investigative science? For the answer, look no further than these two men, Ming Shea and Keith Morris. Shea is a businessman and philanthropist whose gifts funded Ming Shea Hall, teaching and research facilities in Ogilvy Hall, and two distinguished professorships. At a dedication ceremony on February 19th, Keith Morris was named WVU's first Ming Shea Distinguished Professor of Forensic and Investigative Science. He was instrumental in establishing a master's program in forensic and investigative science and teaches extensively in that program. We are very grateful to Mr. Shea for his uh, support of our program and his genuine interest in the activities of our students and in the activities of the faculty. Forensic science is a, is a strange uh, field, um, sometimes very different to other sciences, uh, sometimes very similar. When a, a person is a forensic scientist and they're performing casework, they've got a number of goals that they need to keep in mind. They've got to please science, they've got to please the law. And sometimes these are two very competing factors. So the importance of research underway in, in our program is critical to its main focus, the development of forensic scientists of the future. They are the ones who need to be aware of the issues within their field because after they leave here, they will be the people in court. They will have to answer the questions and they will be able, must be able to supply the data to support their conclusions. Really, we very, very feel fortunate and honored to have the, such an uh, opportunity to work with the West Virginia University and especially with the, our professor uh, Keith Morris to continue enhance this program. Not only through the academic point of view, but also how do we continue to educate the, our next generations, how to build their career, and how to build their future.